And I pray that God will be with you. God will bless you. God will give you the desire of your heart. I am happy that you organize this program for your spiritual benefit. I like it so. And I wish you the best in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to share with you about my fervent desire over your lives. I have a fervent desire which is like my prayer for you. And that is what I'm going to share with you today. I'm talking to you on my desire for you. Let's bow our head for prayer. Almighty Father, the God of heaven, I'm so grateful that your children have so prepared themselves today. A God the desire that you visit them. They desire spiritual upliftment. And I'm requesting divine that you will answer them in Jesus' name. Let the God of heaven be magnified. I'm praying that God, those people they have invited to you, to listen to your world, you will bless them this day. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, I think good about you. The Lord says himself, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you an expected end. And that is my thought towards you. I desire good things on over your life. I know my commission over you. And I am faithfully carrying it out with passion and desire. I pray as Jesus said, all of you shall be kept Except, as Jesus said, the son of perdition. I desire that these ones that the Lord has given to me will make it to heaven. That is the prayer Jesus prayed. Yes. In the book of John, Chapter 17, my desire for you, John, chapter 17, I read verse 24. Yes. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold that my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Jesus was praying here, for 
his dear disciples, followers, for their eternal life. He wished them eternal life. He prayed for their eternal life. And that is my prayer for you. It is my prayer that you will make it to heaven. That God will give you eternal life. That your Christianity will not end in a waste. Your Christianity will not be meaningless as it is with many in the world today. But that you will make it. That God will give you the staff of life. The crown of life. As Jesus Christ said in the book of Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12 verse 32 The Bible tells us Fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom Oh blessed brother I am praying that God will play gerably give you the kingdom. My beloved sister, I desire that God will play gerably give you the kingdom. Yes, I know many are following in vain. Many are fighting aimlessly, but I pray not you. We have labored over your life. We have made truth known unto you. God has helped us. We have taught you the truth. We see you laboring at it. My prayer is you will succeed. My prayer is you will make it to heaven. You will go to heaven. You will be in heaven. The hope of Christianity. You will be in the number. My desire for you. Yes. In the book of John... Chapter 14. I read verse 1 to verse 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. It's my prayer for you. Now when Jesus comes to carry these ones to himself, you will be in the number. We are waiting for the rapture. We are waiting for his coming to take us home. And I'm praying you will join the number. You will succeed. God will not leave you behind. Grace will cover you. You will escape this world. You will enter into heaven everlasting. 
in Jesus mighty name. I pray that you are going along with us all this while will not be in vain. I pray that your labor among us will not be in vain. I pray that your discovering us will not be in vain. My God, answer my prayers. That as the rapture takes place and people are jumping up from every part of the world, my brethren will participate. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Worship. Brother, we mean business. We're not playing. We're not playing. We mean that you are playing well. Play well indeed. My desire for you, my sister, I watch you with delight and I wish you good. Number two, I desire that you may live unblameable in holiness to qualify for heaven. That's my desire. Nothing will be lacking in your life. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 11 to verse 13. 1 Corinthians, I mean Thessalonians rather, chapter 3, verse 11 to verse 13. Now God himself and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way unto you and the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men even as we do toward you to the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God even our father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his sins yes I pray that the ministry the Lord has directed us towards you will produce this unblameable holiness in your life. Will qualify you. I pray that God will help us, help you, perfect you. God will purify your life by the fellowship you have along with us in holiness revival movement. God will cleanse your life. God will make you holy. Your love for God will increase more and more. Your love for your fellow ones will increase more and more. Your love for yourselves will increase more and more. That the Lord will find you perfect. The Lord will find you worthy to give you eternal life without blame. The Lord will purify your heart. Husband, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church. Gave himself for eat. That he might sanctify and cleanse it. May God sanctify and cleanse your heart. That he might present unto himself a glorious church. May you be part of this church. To make it not having spot or wrinkle. Or any such thing. But that you be holy and without blemish. May God grant this in your life. May God grant this in your life. May the power of God work out this in your life. May the Lord break through this in your life. 
May the Lord recover you in holiness. May the Lord do this miracle over your life. In Jesus' name. Yes. My dear, this is my desire for you. I want you to make it. I want you to qualify. I want you to see yourself able to do it. Able to go there. By the power of God. By the grace of God, that your heart may be established, unblameable in holiness before God. He will observe your heart and see it is pure. He has no blame. There's no debt there, no defilement. God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. God should do it in your life. God should do it in your life. God should achieve it in your life. God should break through in your life. God should purify you. Jesus, you do it. You do it for your children. Do it. They can make it. They can make it. They can make it. They can come out of this world. Pure. Holy. Do it by your word. Ye are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. You are hearing the word constantly. You are reading it in the assignment. You are reading. You are listening. In the Bible study. Yes, book review. On your own. You are reading. You are praying. I stand by you, brother. Sister, I stand by you. And I'm pointing to you and say, God, pour down grace upon this one. Help this one. Quicken this one. And let him be in the number. <laughs> let her be in the number. The Lord answer my prayer over you. Over your family. Over your children even. Your children too. In Jesus name. Amen. My desire for you. My desire for you. Number three. That you will be submissive to leadership at all levels. Local, national, and international. According to the will of God. As the Lord commands, so you will be. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Hebrews. Chapter 13. I read verse 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourselves. For they watch for your souls. As they that must give account. That they may, be, they, that they may do it. With joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. My sister, married, I pray that God will make you obedient to your husband, that you will be a soft person to your husband, not hard, not difficult, not competitive to your husband. Not challenging your husband. My prayer for you that grace will touch your heart and make you Amen. soft before your husband. Make you like a child before him. He says, do this, you do it. Go, you go. Stop this, you stop. In the will of God. Ha! Ah, it's required for heaven. I pray that you will qualify. My prayer, let the power of God enter into you and grant you this humility before your husband. Humility. I say, why? Wives, obey your husband. 
Let your children learn from you. Let them learn obedience to their father by your obedience to their father. Obey. I pray that the spirit of obedience will take over your life. Deception that deceives the woman that she is as great or greater than man will not be your portion. You will be obedient according to the word of God. The children will obey their parents. That is my prayer. O oh Lord divine. Power should humble your children. I pray Jesus. Make them different from all these strange women. O oh Lord my God. That they will not be in competition in the family. Finding, saying who is the greatest. Or else let the husband bow. Father, oh Lord, for their heaven, break down their bones and let them learn obedience. Submit for heaven. They must go to this heaven. Father, we have spoken about heaven to them. We have talked to them, set heaven as a goal. We want them to be there. And therefore, Lord, the spirit of obedience, I pray God give it to your daughters. In Jesus' name. That's my prayer for you. That's my prayer for you. That's my prayer for you. Yes. The Lord give you a new heart. Thank you, Lord. Father, do it. It is my prayer that you will learn to obey your coordinator. The American coordinator that the Lord has given to you. In the Lord. According to the word of God. For angels submit to one another. According to divine appointment. That you will learn to submit. To your coordinator. Submit. Men and women. To your coordinator. That he will do this work. Both himself and his wife will do this work joyfully. Happily. And release themselves for this work. Happily and joyfully. They should be spent for you in righteousness. In righteousness. Obedience. Submit. For the watch for your souls. You will not, you will not criticize them. You will not disdain them. You will not overlook them. You will not challenge them. I pray that you have a good heart, goodly heart towards leadership. Yes. The zonal coordinators, remember you have a coordinator. The national coordinator. You walk with him happily, joyfully, righteously, not to carnally protect him, carnally, with eye service, exalt him. He is not the mean person to be exalted, there is Jesus. But that you love him. By love, you encourage him to serve you, to serve the Lord for you. Amen. The Lord make them rich in righteousness. Rich in the truth of Christ. Rich in wisdom. In Jesus name. The Lord make you to milk. Out from them. Rich milk and drink. Hey, and be fat for heaven. That's my prayer for you. Yes. And you who are in the leadership, the Lord make you love the Lord, serve the Lord, and not demand carnal authority, carnal worship, threatening anybody. That would disqualify you of heaven that I'm praying for you to be there. With all meekness and lowliness, you will serve the Lord's people. 
with all sincerity and patience, you will serve the lost people. Bearing the pain as a good soldier, you will serve the lost people. I pray that God will find no fault in your life, in your ministry. In Jesus' name, the zonal coordinators over you be respected, be honored, granting them the, the grace to serve you happily, joyfully, as your brothers. You love them. May the Lord make you who are in leadership to be submissive to the international director with trembling, without making, be, making Lord of yourself over the people, but as a soldier that has that is under authority, you will recognize your authority. Like the centurion that said, I am a man under authority and I have soldiers under me. I'm in the middle. There, there is higher authority over me. Although I have people that I, auto, I, I, I rule over, you should recognize that you're under the international director. Happily and joyfully. Anytime you have dealing with him, it's as if you met with God. You are very happy. No negative mind, no, no slavish fear. No hiding yourself. If they, watch me and know my thoughts and see whether there be any evil way in me and perfect me. You will come fully with your mistakes. Even with your sins. You will come fully and say, Lord, I'm coming before my leader. Whatever he sees wrong, let him perfect me. I like that spirit. And that is what takes to heaven. Hide not your sin. Expose yourself that you might be cleansed. Live in love. Chat in love. Yes. And you know anytime you turn to the international director, it's love you enjoy. Joy. Cheerfulness. Preciousness. You are precious in his sight. Enjoy that preciousness. And be original. Don't be hypocritical. I want you to be original. Because my love for you is original. I'm not thinking evil about you. Remove him. Disgrace him. Do like that to her. Never. So you will live like that. Be happy and peaceful. You have somebody that can defend you. You have somebody that is truthful. That can, over, that can check you over well. That can see matters true in righteousness. And so you don't have to be afraid. You are happy. You are secure in Christ. Hi, Jesus. May God do it for us. May the Lord bring this relationship to be. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That's our prayer. Submissive. To one another. According to the appointment of God. No jealousy, no malice, no envy, no competition. Making provision for one another according to the gifts of God, the gifts of grace. Welcoming one another to climb up higher, to perform more for Jesus. That heart should be in you. That heart should be in you. The heart of John the Baptist that says, He that has the bride is the bridegroom. He that has the gift is, is, is God that gave him. And let a man's gift make a way for him. He must increase and I must decrease. In that specific area. He's gifted in it. We need him. And make room for him. This is what we desire. Praise God. Worship you. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Give us this atmosphere of Christianity. Worship. Hallelujah. Thank you. We love you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Yes, number four. My desire for you that you progress spiritually. That you do not go carnal devouring one another. 
That is my desire. Spiritual progress. You grow in the Lord. You grow in the grace of God. You grow in divine assignment. You grow in the ministry. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Increasing in the power of God. This is my desire for you. In the book of Galatians chapter 5. I read verse 13 to verse 26. Galatians chapter 5. Verse 13. Yes. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Brethren, you have been appointed in unto service, a position. Don't use that position as occasion to the flesh. To feel that you are greater than your brethren. You are greater than the rest. I don't do so. I don't use my position after the flesh. Don't use yours. Don't. Don't use your own to oppress people. To speak rough language. To demand worship. Don't use your own to threaten people. Don't. It's position of service. Jesus said, I am among you as one that serve it. You are among them as one that serve it. Serve them. Serve them. Jesus said, let him that think, wants to be the greatest. Be the least among you. That is the formula. The way up is the way down. Humility, be clothed with it. Humility, be clothed with it. You are a woman leader. You are as though you are not. When the people came to arrest Jesus, they came among his disciples, they could not identify him. If Judas was not there, because he was as they were. He was as his disciples were. No special air, special movement. No, as his disciples were. So you be like that. Among the people, serving the Lord. Serving the Lord. If you see the if your eyes open to the great angels that are servicing you in Christ, you will feel unworthy. But they're doing it for God. Do it for God over those flock. Serve them in humility. You are older. Behave young. Let your voice be soft. Don't put on anger that will drive the people away. Don't put on anger. Don't put on, put on pride that will threaten the people. Yeah. The Bible says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Learn to give a smile. Learn to talk cheerfully. Learn to address other people with respect, respectful title. Do. Oh, bless God. Let the spirit of grace come upon your life. May the power of God descend upon you now and make you that righteous man that the Lord called to serve his brethren. May the power of righteousness walk upon you, woman, to make you that righteous woman the Lord has appointed to serve the brethren. In Jesus' name. Yes, that's the world. Wonderful. 
Thank you, Jesus. Yes. But if ye abide and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. You are there to criticize. Talk to this person about that. Talk to this person about that. Talk to this person. You corrupt the environment. You send away the presence of the Holy Spirit. You doom yourself. You bring doom to the environment. You cause spiritual network to cut off. People will not get connected with God anymore because the environment is criticism. It's a click. People are in cliques. Click, fighting click. The presence of God is no more there. Whatever you are doing, God doesn't back it up. His honor is not with you. His righteousness is not in your life. It's hate that is in your heart. Hate. Hate. Like begets like. A hateful heart. A hating heart. Communicates hate to the other person. Spreads hate. God Watch away hatred from your heart. God, take away by biting tongue from your tongue. God, drive away the evil spirit from among you. In Jesus' name. You love one another. Don't kill one another. Make provision for mistakes. Make provision. A mother makes provision for the child for her many mistakes. Do likewise. Human beings are not all the same. There are the talking types. There are the silent type. There are the pushful type. There are the gentle type. But one thing is there be righteousness. God made the differences. But let there be righteousness. And don't even a man because of the nature he has. That if you see well it's for the beauty of the group. It's like a color. And various colors are required to be brought together to show beauty. So think well. Change your thought. People cannot be the same in behavior. But they can be, be the same in righteousness. There is the righteous and quiet. There is the righteous and talking. But we need righteousness. But have no problem with the talking as long as the talking is in righteousness. If we all keep quiet, the environment will not be fine. Have no problem with the silence either because we, if we're all talking, whom do we hear? Appreciate your differences but in righteousness. Don't kill one another. Don't form click against one another. Yes. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, the desire of the flesh. Seek God constantly. Always ask yourself, will this action glorify God? If I say this way, will God be pleased with me? Take time to pray before you do, before you speak. Then that will keep you walking in the spirit. <clears throat> you will not fulfill the desire of the flesh. Yes, examine yourself in the spirit. Check up yourself. What are you going to gain? This action you want to take is it not because of pride? Because you want to show yourself? Check it out. Rebuke yourself. Walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. This thing you want to say, this act, these words you want to answer, is it not to reveal yourself and show that you are somebody, you want to humble that person with words? Will those words minister grace to the hearer? Will those words bless God? Walk in the spirit. 
Don't make provision for your flesh. In your relationship with the brethren, watch against the works of the flesh and avoid them. Which are these? Because the Bible says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would but if ye, if ye be late of the spirit ye are not under the law now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery ah oh. yeah 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 brother walk on your mind my sister walk on your mind some people appeal very well to your flesh Ah, they look nice to your flesh. And your flesh will want to speak a language of shame to your, to your heart. Your flesh wants to disqualify you forever. Rebuke it. Never think towards your sister for adultery. Never think towards your brother for adultery. Fornication. Don't, don't think it. Let not the beauty of your sister appeal to your flesh. Refuse it. Let not the glory of your brother appeal to your flesh. Refuse it. Reject it. Rebuke yourself. Tell yourself you are for heaven. You enter there. And you two are doing all to enter there. Reject it, the voice of the devil. Yes. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, unclean behavior, dirty behavior. You yourself know. Yes. You yourself know that these things are evil. Don't do them. This language is unclean. Don't speak it. This picture is unclean. Don't watch it. Don't take interest in pornography. It's evil. It's uncleanness. It's, dem it's demonic. Yes, yeah, don't, don't joke on immorality. It's unclean. Avoid it. Dress clean, don't dress unclean. Even in your dressing. Dress clean, don't dress unclean. Yes, even at home. Dress clean, don't dress unclean. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Loss. Yes. You want this? You want that? You want this? No. Idolatry. Exalting things above God. Exalting a person above God. Fearing a person above God. And as a result, you commit sin because of that person. That person is an idol. Don't allow that. Don't allow that. Let not your husband be an idol. Let not your wife be an idol. That you are telling lies now because oh, if I don't tell lies, my husband, I have to say it so to please him. Otherwise, otherwise. Idol, your idol worshiper. Why, 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 why? Why? Sister, go to heaven. We want you there. We're going there together. Don't worship idol. Is, this, is it that you must marry? Why are you sinning? Is it that you must marry? Ma. You are afraid of the anger of your wife. Oh, Jesus. May God deliver her from your, deliver you from her wrath. May the Lord make you rule her wrath. May God make you overcome her wrath. May God make you triumph over her wrath. Otherwise, you are in bondage. Make no friendship with an angry man. With a furious man, thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn her ways or learn his ways. You have to do... To be forced to do things that please him or please her so that so that and you, you you she will be laughing with you don't look for her laughter 
Don't look for it. Her laughter is evil. Because you must sin. You must be hypocritical to get it. Don't get it. Overlook her. If she must make you sin, disdain her. Forget her body. For why must you go to hell? Take her to God and report her to God. That you have an idol. In, somebody wants to make, make yourself an idol in the house. And have the liberty. You are called to liberty in your spirit. To serve the Lord. And be not in bondage to man. Be not in bondage to a woman. In the name of marriage. For why must marriage make you lose heaven? Ask God to come and help you in the matter. Yes. Witchcraft. Drop it. Reject it. Cry against it. Repent of it. You know already in holiness movement, if we discover you in witchcraft, your own is a serious case. Reject it. Don't harm your brother. Don't seek to kill your sister. Don't seek to impoverish the family of your brother. Don't inflict sickness on the people. Don't destroy, don't seek to destroy Horemo, Holiness Revival Movement. Don't seek to destroy it. All this work of the flesh, you must be the leader. You must be the leader. And that is true witchcraft. We reject that. May God reject you. Yes. Works of the flesh. Hatred. Variance. Immolations. Wrath. Strife. Seditions. Heresies. No reason you're just hating somebody. Why are you hating him? My mind is just hating. That is a bad spirit. Reject it. My brother, you need to go to heaven. Reject those things. You want to be on your own. You don't want to have dealing with anybody. Please, in America here, don't leave me alone. Me, I don't want to be among them. I just want to attend fellowship, Bible study, and go my way. That is not the Christianity of heaven. That is not the Christianity of heaven. Two are better than one. They have a good reward for Christianity. When you are together, you have the revival of Christianity. You alone cannot make it. So don't allow that devil that will separate you, put you alone outside the brethren. You don't want to have connection with any person. You are now in conference to greet people. I'm not interested to do what? And no, please leave me alone. I am alone. I am alone. Never. Never. You keep yourself in Christ that the devil does not touch you. But you must reach out to another. Either to receive blessing or to give blessing. That's fellowship. If you don't need blessing, somebody needs it from you. And you definitely need blessing from someone. That is fellowship which God expects of you. That is fellowship that you are not alone. You are together with your brethren. Protect yourself in Christ. Don't be afraid. Don't bring Christianity to the point where we are afraid of one another. That fear in you shows that you are not perfect in Christianity. Your Christianity has not come to perfection. That's why you are always afraid. A person who is afraid of the traffic does not drive. He will remain at home because how can I come and join this traffic on the road 
Somebody will crush me. I will crush somebody. I cannot do it. Stay at home. That is the person who is afraid of everybody. Hey, somebody will harm me. Somebody will criticize me. Somebody will. Somebody will. Somebody will. That is the voice of the devil. God is there. Do righteousness. You will not be harmed. Speak good. Evil will not follow you. Serve your God. He will bless your bread and water. Even in conference. He will bless the food you eat in conference. If God were not doing so, Christianity would have vanished from the earth. Since long, God is participating in Christianity to keep people righteous. Why are you not giving him chance? Why are you too afraid of Satan? Why are you too afraid of his children? Does not God have superior power? Are you not called to the higher God? Why are you not folding your tail? Does a dog fold tail in his own house? Is it in your father's house that you're folding tail because of other people? Hey, they will harm me in your father's house? Is God not there? Is Jesus not there? Drive away that evil spirit. It will want to hinder you from God because God will be embarrassed. Eat the food there. Eat that food. Bless it. It is sanctified by prayer and by thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. All these works of the flesh. Don't allow the flesh to come into your relationship. Believe the thing we preach and teach. Don't form your own. Don't allow anybody to teach you something contrary to what is taught in Horemor. We are sure of what we are teaching. We are sure of what we are saying. We are sure we will give you Bible for it. We will tell you clearly. Ask any question. We will answer you. We will lead you to the Bible. We will teach you the ways of God. Some people will be accusing holiness movement. And hey, see, you did this, you said this. It didn't come to pass. Come and take you into the Bible. Your eyes will open. You will know that we are Bible people. We are not outside the Bible in any way. So, don't listen to any people corrupting you over what we teach. Saying, baptize in the name of Jesus only. That is fraudulent. That is incomplete gospel. That is not the truth. Jesus has said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That is an unchangeable word. He said that after resurrection. Who again will change his word? The Holy Spirit? No. He, the Holy Spirit will only speak the words of Jesus. His disciples? No. They have no authority to change the word of God settled in heaven. We explain to you. Baptizing them in the name of Jesus means baptizing them as authorized by Jesus. As Jesus had told them. That's what it means. Follow the teaching. Don't go on heresies. Don't go to these people who don't know God completely. And, and be going on. That's the work of the flesh. Showing that you know more than we do. You don't. You don't. Avoid this thing of the flesh that destroys you. Avoid it. Brother, go to heaven. That is my prayer for you. My sister, go to heaven. That is my prayer for you. Yes. Verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Love people. Love as a fool. Love as a fool. Love keeps you in a very wide 
field that even if you close your eyes and you're driving, you will not fall into a ditch. You are in a wide field of life. Love. There is no excess love. You close your eyes. You are driving. It is, you are in a football field. You are in 20 football fields brought together. Smart. That's love. You can't over love. You will not sin by loving. Against such, there's no law. Be kind. Not everybody may want to accept your kindness, but don't shut up because of them. Go ahead. Ask God to direct you to whom you should be kind to. David said, is there anybody for me to show kindness? Show me someone. I will show him kindness. They showed him a crippled man. He said, yes. I'm looking for you to show you kindness. Come with your crippled legs and eat with me on my table. It's kindness. Be kind. Be patient with people. Be patient. He won't do it again. With time, he will come to understand you. With time, she will come to understand who you are, that you are sincere, and will change towards you. That's patience. Don't take a decision and move away from somebody. You have not finished with that person. God has not finished using that person in your life. If you turn away from that person, it is a loss to you. Because you still have tomorrow. You still have tomorrow. What happened? You will still have tomorrow. And God will still, still have tomorrow for that person to use him in your life. Why do you want to hinder his good? God's good in your life tomorrow by turning away from an instrument he shall use tomorrow just because of today. Uh, the person didn't behave well. I don't like him again. I don't like her, like her again. That's a foolish thought. You don't know your tomorrow. What if you don't like your, your child now because of the way the child behaves? You send the child to another person. Take this, my three-year-old child. He can't give me rest. Please, let, take her away. I don't need her again. Ah. When you see that child drive in a special car, pass you on the way tomorrow, what will you say? You will bite your tongue and say, well, how foolish was I that because of the behavior of this child, I threw her away. Don't throw somebody away. You need him tomorrow. You need him as long as you're still there. You need him. Ishmael came back and buried Abraham. Although he was sent from the house. Relationship continued. He came back and buried Abraham. You need that person tomorrow. Therefore be patient today. Be patient today. The fruit of the spirit. When the Lord is touching your heart, please bear it, don't bother. Bear it, don't bother. Don't overcome the voice of the Holy Spirit. Live in peace. Receive the peace of God. Don't be afraid of your environment. Be peaceful. God gave you the peace. Enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. That is the word of God. Be good to people. Be gentle in life. Humble. As I said, learn to put a smile. Learn to talk in a gentle way. You can rebuke somebody by rebuking love. After that, joy, love, friendship continues. Christianity. 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 God cover you in America with this. May God cover all of you with this. Make you live this Christian life and make it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with affections and lusts. The flesh. You are among your brethren, your thoughts are all, all towards immorality. No, you are not. Do, do they that are in Christ have crucified those things. Kill those things in your body. Kill those thoughts in your mind. Yes. Or oh, you are thinking to make monetary gain from your brother. All about is how to get money from him. Why? That's flesh. Paul said, I, pre I love to, to give to you as a father. Your mind is not to get money from converts. No. Your money comes from God. It touches anybody to bring it. Don't fix your eyes on somebody. Give me money, 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 money. That's the flesh. That's the flesh. Fix your eyes on God. Ask it of God. Of course the Lord can lead you to ask somebody for money, but it will be clear. The flesh will not be there. It will follow the pattern of scripture. That is what we are saying. Don't relapse to the flesh. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. That is my prayer for you. Make spiritual progress. Number five, I desire that you may prosper and be in health. May the God of heaven work out healing. In your body. In your family. In Jesus name. The Bible tells us in 1st John. I mean 3rd John rather. 3rd John. Verse 1. And 2. Let me read down to verse 4. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even as thou walkest in the truth. I'm comforted. That there are people that are walking in the truth. That there are people that are following our God. Right among you. That are sincere. God knows them. I'm blessed. They are sincere people. They are not hypocrites. They are original people. I'm happy with them. For the values among you. I don't know what is the female values. What do they call them? Maybe Gaiusa. Then I say for the values and Gaiusa among you. I am happy with you. Keeping this world in a corrupt society. I love you. I'm telling you. You are practicing this world. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May he bless your family. Even your family to the extended relation. May the Lord bless them for your sake. May the Lord provide for you sufficiently. May God bless the work of your hand. God give you job. God make you retain your job. May God give you favor in the sight of men. May God give you resources of life. May God use you to bless your brethren. May God use you to bless the gospel of Christ. 
Yes. Thank you for your faithfulness to the world. For keeping the world. Your life is a testimony. We hear this of you. What you do among the brethren. We are blessed to have you. Thank God you came into salvation. Thank God you came into this family. <laughs> you are a gift to holiness of our movement. You are encouraging people to make it. May God be with you. May God prolong your life. May God make your heaven sure. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You will remember him. You will remember her. All her works be remembered or over her. All her works, all her sacrifice, all his sacrifice, remember it over them, Lord Divine. Remember it over them. Let them never be defeated in life. Let not the devil come to her house. Thank you, Father. Worship. I'm grateful. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will heal all your sicknesses. And take away your pain. Take away confusion. The Lord destroy the attacks that come to you. Thank you, Father. That is my desire for you, brother. My desire for you, my beloved sister. Again, number six. I desire that you may be fruitful in every good work. Hey. You will be fruitful. Testimonies will abound concerning you. People redeemed from darkness because of you. Yes, you will be a fruitful vine. A fruitful vine. In fact, that you will be like that tree that. A, a, a wood was used to support the branch because of overfruitfulness. In Jesus' name. Bearing heavy fruit or requiring support. May God grant you divine support in your fruitful fruitfulness. Divine support. Divine pruning. May God make you fruitful. Yes, in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 9 to verse 13. Colossians, chapter 1, verse 9. The Bible says, For this cause, we also, let's read from verse 8. Who also declared unto us your love in the spirit. For this cause, we also, since the day we had, we had it, do not cease to pray for you. And to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That ye might be that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Given thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. 
who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We heart of you. We heart of your life. And we are praying for you. And we desire that you will know God more. You will know God richly, deeply, widely, highly. Yes, that's our prayer. That the God of heaven will give you spiritual understanding. You will understand things in Bible way. You will see the answer. To all things in the Bible. You will have the Bible solution. To all situations of life. The Lord will give you the wisdom of Christ. That. Designs his enemy. And wins over them. Even in the shrewd question. You will overpass them. In Jesus name. That. You, your life will be worthy. Of the Lord. God will want to walk with you. Enoch walked with God. God will be pleased. To walk with you. To draw you to himself. To be beside you. I like it so. That you'll be fruitful in every good work. Everything you aim and desire will work out. Oh, God, do it. Let the Holy Ghost do it in your children. Ah. That that which they desire will work out for themselves, for their family, even extended relations, for the church, for the chapter, for the unit. Oh, for mankind. May God work out your desire. That you will be increasing in the knowledge of God. You will have inner strength, not weakness. Inner strength for prayer. Inner strength for spiritual battle. Inner strength for spiritual service. Worship. His glorious power will be your own portion. Whatever comes away negative, you have the power to bear, power to manage it, power to overcome it. In Jesus' name. Yes. It's a blessed thing. You must thank God that I brought you to such a family as this. The family that is living in the light of God. The family that is living in the truth of God. You find yourself among them. Rejoice. You're welcome. Exploit it on earth.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the power of the Lord descend upon you now, now. Ah! Father, dethrone the devil in his life. Dethrone the devil in her life. Dethrone the queen of the coast. Burn them with fire. Destroy them. Terminate them. All the forces of evil. Ah. Father. Set them free. Set them free. Loose them. Cast it out of their lives. Break that force in her life. Burn it with fire. Terminate it. Terminate it. Break it up. Destroy it. In his life. Send your angels Lord to do it. Get those demons out of their lives. Ah. Ah. I lose you. The word says whatever I lose upon the earth. Is loosed in heaven. Be free to serve Jesus. Ha! Huh. Yes! Who has translated us? From the, uh, delivered us from the power of darkness. Every evil force working against your family. Every evil force working against your business. Every evil force working against your marriage, I bind them and set you free. In Jesus' name, I cast them out of your life. Get out from their lives. Get out from their lives. Dead by the cross of Calvary. Jesus destroyed you there. Get out from their lives. Get out from their lives. Lord Jesus, bring your healing and soundness to their lives. Righteousness will fill them. Freedom. Freedom. From God. Upon their children also. Let them serve you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All those people who don't have power to keep from immorality, from masturbation, from lesbianism, from whatever, homosexuality, because of demon, Lord, the cross of Jesus. Ha ha! Those demons have gone away. Set them free. Let them be no more. Power of immorality broken. Power of drugs. Destroy it. Make them free. Jesus, make them free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let them serve you. Thank you. Yes, my desire for you. Finally, number seven. I desire that you may never withdraw from the Lord for any reason. But that you continue in Christ and in his word of truth, righteousness and holiness until he comes. Or until you leave the earth to meet him. Abraham began with the Lord. Abraham died in the Lord. Isaac died in the Lord. Jacob died in the Lord. Joseph died in the Lord. Moses died in the Lord. You will die in the Lord. 
you will die in the Lord. Or you will be raptured. If the rapture comes before you're dead. Amen. Jesus. Do it. You will not backslide. That's my desire. You will not backslide. You will not be driven out of this ministry. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Your name will not be cancelled from the book of life. Your name will be there forever until you enter. Thank you. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. I read verse 35 to 39. The Bible says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye may receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the serving of the soul. My brother is a great treasure. How many people in the world know God? A world of about 8 billion people. How many are Christians? Can we say 3.5 billion are Christians? Then which type of Christians? Which type? Born again? Christian by religion? Yes. How many are born again? Hey, in this world, I don't know. But can we say we have up to a hundred million born again people in the world? Out of eight billion. Hey. And you are among the 100 million. Born again? How many are born again and no righteousness and holiness? Then, how many? How many? And see where you belong. What a, what a grace. Don't cast it away. Don't neglect holiness revival movement. Where God has brought you. You are in the top ladder. You are in the last rung. Your flight has gone beyond the clouds. You can't even see anything down the earth. By reason of your height. Maintain that. It's, it's required for the distance you're traveling. It's required for a free flight, free movement of the plane. You are in a height to be in holiness, holiness survival movement. Therefore, don't allow anybody to frustrate you. And you say, and because of this person, I will leave the movement. Hey! Hey, a boy was, live, uh, was uh, going with his father from, is this Sokoto or where, uh, to Lagos. They were, they were in the flight. By the time the flight left Abuja to somewhere, the boy said, Daddy, I'm tired. Tell the, the, the pilot to stop. I want to come down. Daddy, I am tired. I say I want to come down. How do you come down from the top where we are? Do you think it's a, vehicle, do you think it's a motor vehicle that can stop on the way for you to, to come down and urinate? This is flight, boy. Why are you thinking that you should leave the movement? Why? Somebody offended you. Hey, the coordinator offended me. 
Oh, a particular sister. Hey, they disdain me. Hey, they did like this. Oh. Hey, do you know the reward of where you are? Do you know the spiritual implication of where you are? Like that small boy that wanted to stop, even to open the door plane for him. Will will him how will he manage with the wind? You want to perish? Why are you offended? Why do you make your pride to destroy you? Surely pride go ahead before you fall. Why are you allowing somebody else somewhere to deceive you and get you out of this place? Was it well with Adam when Satan deceived him from paradise? Was it well with Eve? Cast not away therefore your confidence which had great recompense of the world Whatever is the situation, attack, oppression, abuse. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise of eternal life. Yes. Whatever it is, push you here, push you there, deny it, even if it's communicate to you. You come back again by repentance. Even falsely accusing you, you bear it. The reward of that is great. The reward of that is great. Where you have a hope of eternal life, the gospel of eternal life, love sufficiently for you, care from God the Father, from the Son, from the Holy Ghost. For a little, for yet a little while, the end shall come. And he that shall come will come. He will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. Brother, live. Life is not favorable, but live by faith, trusting that it shall turn tomorrow. Things shall turn around for your favor tomorrow. Because you're righteous. Because your ways are right. You are true. You are sincere. You have cast all your cares upon him. Now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. My soul, that's God talking. My soul, my being shall have no pleasure in him. No pleasure in him if you draw back. If you answer satanic call to draw back, you will fall into a bottomless pit where God will not care to see you. But, you will read verse 39 in a chorus form. Verse 39. Get ready. One, to go. Praise God. Claim that. Claim it. Claim it. You are not going back. Claim it. You will never draw back. Claim it. Whatever is the pressure, family pressure, marital pressure, workplace, Anywhere, sickness, attacks, whatever, you are not drawing back. You will continue to the saving of your soul. You will continue until we shake hands in heaven. You will continue, I'm telling you, 
you will never do draw back. Hey, tell me I will visit your mansion in heaven. I, you are not drawing back. I will go and see this, your mansion. I'm telling you. You will not draw back. This righteousness the Lord has called you, this family, you will not divorce us from this family. We will continue together. God bless you. God, may God put some good thing into your mouth. May God put some sweet things into your mouth that you will just find sweetness in your mouth and you'll be very happy. You say, today, today, God gave me this thing. I ate manna. Hey, Jesus, you have blessed your children. Thank you. You have strengthened them. You have encouraged them. And you will do it for them. We worship. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus visited you today. You need to just thank him. In fact, spend time and tell Jesus you love him. Tell him, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And tell him that you love Pastor Rica also. As I love you. Tell him you love Pastor Rica. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell Jesus you love him. Tell him that you love Pastor Rica. Hey, are you ready to talk to him? Go ahead in your prayer. Go ahead in your prayer. Just rejoice. Believe that he will do what I have prophesied on your life. Believe that it shall be well with you. Receive it. Receive it. All I have said, let it happen in your life. Worship. Worship. Thank you, Father. Let it come down on you. Let it come down on you. Ha. Let it come down on you. Let it come down on your life. Let it happen. Let's start by the power of God. Holy Ghost, walk it out in their lives. Open your mouth. Talk to God now. Tell him you believe him. You believe him. Worship. Okay, you can bring me this. Receive it. Believe it. Confess it. Thank you, Father. A God put strength into your children. Put strength into your children. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, God. Do it for your children. Do it for your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I'm just imparting blessing upon you. Yes, my desire for you. My desire. And the desire of the righteous shall be granted. The Lord shall grant my desire. Amen. Hallelujah. Just lay hand upon yourself. Lord divine. God, Paul said, I wish to be among you that I may impart some spiritual gift upon you. Therefore, Lord, I am imparting some virtue upon my brethren. In Jesus' name. 
may, they, may the virtues of God come upon your life and change you and make you for the better. Touch your life. In Jesus' name. Today is a great day in your life. Heaven has drawn closer to you. God has forgiven your iniquity. And is ready for you to walk with him. God has opened the door for your life. You will see him coming and going, coming and going. Just you walk in and forth, finding pasture. That's there's going to be a correspondence between you and God. There's going to be a transaction between you and God. I'm happy for your peace. I'm happy for good thing that has happened to your life today. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Tell him you are grateful. Thank him for remembering you today, for setting this day for yourself. He gave you this day as a gift. Thank him. Thank him. Promise him you are continuing with him. Thank you, Lord. Your virtues upon their life. Knowledge and understanding and the wisdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe
I believe, I believe, I believe you. 